Um, oh, how weird. It's not very normal in your entrance hall. Not what you expect at no. all. But if they thought that was strange, they ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, look, they've all got their prices on. I mean, look at that. £14, £15, £15.50, £11, 20 quid. Jason's comic collection runs into the thousands. And then there are his DVDs. Look, it just goes on and on and on. Mm. Look at these ones. This is like a full collection of gore films. Martial arts, gore, horror. There's hundreds of these videos. It's really boisy. There's nothing mm. sort of really feminine in here. And the boisy theme continues. Next up, the bedroom. That's not a cheap habit. Look mm. at all of that. Where's his wife? Well, there's absolutely... Have you ever been into a, a bedroom of a couple and seen mm. so many male shoes? This designer collection adds up to just over £2,000. I mean, look at all of these. These Maharishis come yeah. with different patterns on the legs, and the more detail, the more you're paying for them. But, you know, Maharishi trousers like that range from about 120 up to 500 quid depending wow. on how much detail is on them. But you see, this is more, more of his stuff, his stuff. So you're saying, where is she? The answer is sandwiched in at this end with that much space. I would say this guy mm. is supremely selfish. I never thought I'd say it, but I do feel myself coming over a bit old fashioned. Ah, you see, it's happened. Yeah. Jay and Benjamin have seen enough. But before they leave, there's the small matter of Jason's financial records. Oh, look. Repayment letters acceptance. We're prepared to accept settlement of the above debt of three and a half thousand mm -hmm. by monthly instalments of two pounds. Well, whoopee. <laughs> What's he spending it on? Virgin, 56 pounds. Waterstones, 51. Virgin, 46. Blockbuster, 25. Forbidden mm. Planet, 29. Let's take the bank statements and oh, go off. Let's get out of here. Seen enough. Here we are, bedroom. Ooh, very swanky. Look at this. It's like a Gucci display. It's hilarious. I've got a stack of about eight Gucci bo boxes full of jewellery. I don't think there's anything better, really. I think that's the best. Well, probably is, obviously. Like Cartier and things, but I can't afford those. <laughs> so I'll just stick with Gucci for the meantime. Quite interesting. What's in the oh look. Gucci watch. I love Dior pendant. Oh. Oh wow. God, look. She's got loads of designer makeup, Chanel, Dior. She's obviously a makeup girl. I love the fact that she's put her four credit cards in with those. Like it's mm. sort of a little display. Oh, display. It's a lot of money, I tell you, on this yeah. table here. If you bought this lot, you'd be out of pocket to the tune of five grand. More. Designer boots. Not even been worn. They've still got the cardboard in. Little Gucci purse. Oh, God. You can see where her money's going. It's definitely expensive. Yeah. Shay, bedside reading? Mmm. Two images of vulnerable women turned away from the camera. And cuddly toys. Hmm. Maybe she has some childhood issues. And with no clothes on show, Benjamin suspects she's hiding something. Shay, I think you should do this. I just want to know what's up there. <laughs> uh, well, it'll be about the contents of 18 wardrobes. No. To my unpracticed eye. <gasps> There's a lot of clothes and stuff. No. It's like the sick secret, like the Dorian Gray portrait in the attic. Oh, no. That is, if you think about the mental architecture of the house, right up top is where she keeps all her problems. They found the purchases. Now for the paper trail. Oh, look, there's her car keys. Saab. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Oh, look, she's just bought it. Nice. Oh, look at this. She's bought this car, and this is from the DSA. 
What? She bought the car before yeah. her driving test? So she hasn't taken her driving test yet? She must be confident. Your bank account is overdrawn. She's gone over her overdraft limit. They've written about 18 times about the same amount. She's obviously not done anything about it. Do you it. think every time they write to her, they charge as well? Red bill. Uh-oh. Loan <laughs> application document. Surprise, surprise. Loan makers. She's asking for a loan for 19000 oh It looks like they're offering her one. She's well. only 21, don't forget. Well, the good thing is she's got a lot of life left in front of her to... Uh... Pay it all off. <laughs> Take this. Please do, Jay. I'll leave her her car keys. Jay and Benjamin have seen enough. Jay will be looking for patterns of spending that need to be addressed. And Benjamin's looking for clues as to why she does it. You know what's funny is there's hardly any furniture, but yeah. all the space. Oh, look at that. It's like globe world. The lounge only raises more questions. It's a very neutral space other than this strange display of what could only really be described as grown-up toys. Oh, God, don't say it's another spooky one. Ah, oh, Leah's room. It's obviously Leah's room. Oh, wow. Look, little madam's room. This is certainly a girl who doesn't want for anything. No, it's certainly fully it's stocked. Packed with stuff, more globes. What's in here? Quite young at seven to have your own telly and DVD player. I mean, there's a huge stack of DVDs. I mean, on average, what, £12.99, £14.99? <gasps> Look at that wardrobe. Talk me through. Oh, look, baby fat. That's a not cheap American label. See, she's obviously spending quite a lot of money, I'd say, in the States. Zayna jeans, more baby fat, Tommy Hill figure. Oh, look. Wonder if she's Pony Club girl. Sweet little child's riding hat. Well, bear in mind, she's seven. She's got two wardrobes. She's still growing. So how long is that going to last? The shoes will certainly be... They'll all be redundant. That is a big, big area of spending in this house. Considering myself and Peter share two wardrobes between us and Leah has two for herself, for a seven-year-old, probably is a little bit outrageous. But, um, yeah, they're probably going to be a bit shocked. <laughs> And Leah's wardrobe's not the only thing that's fit to burst. Downstairs, the kitchen's packed too. Oh my goodness. How did we guess? The sad thing is the food probably will get thrown away at the end of every week. Um, and I do feel a slight bit guilty, but it doesn't seem to stop me. What you do find is that people who are spending mm. will spend on anything. So, and I bet because she, she has to get bread and milk, mm. she's already out and shopping then and spending, and then the whole... I Obsessive behaviour comes yeah. in. Look. But the worst is yet to come. The kitchen table stacked high with evidence of debt. See, also spending when they went to New York. Look at that, Tommy Hill figure. What's she doing in New York if she's this much in debt? These are all the solicitors' letters. This is from solicitors. That's a final demand for three hundred and seventy-nine ninety-nine. Another one. Another one for one thousand two hundred and sixty-seven. Failure to comply with this order will result in a summons for your arrest and imprisonment being issued without further reference. It is now obvious you do not intend to make payment. God, she is in serious, serious trouble. Okay. okay. Well, let's go and see if we can sort her out. There's some areas where it's so obvious that the spending's happening. There's masses of food, Leah's wardrobe is really excessive, and there's globes wherever you look. But in other areas, there seems to be not much spending going on at all. What is really shocking, though, is all the letters that have just been completely and utterly ignored about her debt. So we're going to really have to go through these, because where she does spend, she's obviously massively overspending to a really worrying degree. Oh, look. I love having a good old rifle through the fridge. <laughs> Champagne? Yes. Do you think there's a special occasion coming up? Well, I don't that... know. There's four bottles uh, in there. It's so... like a typical night in. It's quite bare. What's that? Tenancy agreement. Mm. Oh, look, he's only just moved in. Interesting. Quite high rent. I know. Shall we take that? Good lord. How take long is that it for? with us. All right. Let's see if we can find his room. OK. Look at this. Not, Champagne lifestyle bed. Not, not really glamorous, is it? Yeah. What have we got? One for you. Uh -huh. What's that doing up there? Versace suit. 
Mm. What's the damage on that? Talking about five, six hundred quid's worth of suit there. Mm. It isn't long before they find the evidence of his addiction to London's elite members' clubs. Receipts. Nice night out at Soho House. 150 quid drop there. <laughs> Look what I found. Fake tan. Oh, Never no. be without that. Oh, there's one for you. What's that? That's a book about kind of how the mind can heal the body. Maybe he has some physical issues. Maybe someone in his family. Who knows? I, of course, notice the fact that it's all propped up with his hairspray. I see. An essential tool for the man about town. The yeah. alternative thinker. Hmm, you absolutely. can heal your hair. If these are all his belongings, it does give the impression of somebody who hasn't got that much stuff and the focus what? is... Outside Look, the house. Look, if he's a 27-year-old man, he's got a lot of debt. He hasn't spent it on anything that he could carry in here, has he? There's no ritzy equipment, there's no plasma screens. It's not a place you really want to spend a lot of time, is it? Not really, no. I'd go out if I lived here. I think we'll leave, shall we? You know how much I hate going out. The bedroom only confirms what they suspect. Paul spends very little time at home. Might the bathroom offer any more clues? I can get... Oh, look! Nice wow. array of modern man products. Anything for me? Well, you can have a go at that. What is it? A little bit left in there. Careful, yeah. Benjamin, it's expensive. I reckon there's about three, four hundred pounds worth of stuff just sitting there. Wow. Do you think he uses it, or do you think he's one of these people who likes to buy and display? Oh, no, I think he uses it. All of it? Definitely into a bit of product. To put that in context, is that the kind of amount of stuff that, like, for example, you might have in your bathroom? I'd have about that much, I'd so I'd say do. about a third of this. And you're pretty high maintenance, And I'm so... a woman. Yeah. W-O-M-A-N. There's obviously no need for it. <laughs> I knew you were a woman. The major thing that I'm obviously concerned with is them seeing my bills and seeing what's on there, like the nights out in Sarah House and various other places that I go to. Oh, oh the bills. Those. Let's take those. Oh, good, his statements and everything. Paul's right to be worried. His bank statements read like a day-to-day -day inventory of A-list celebrities with regular visits to members' clubs, West End salons and health spas. Oh, God, it's like so much at Soho House. Look, Soho House, does he actually live there? Oh, my God. It's not called House for Nothing, There's I suppose. There's masses of stuff there. There's a lot of money here as well on hairdressing. It's like, <laughs> like £60 a week or something. This is a guy who likes to indulge, that's for sure. It's like mm. Pampa City. It's incredible. I know. What does he get up to, this bloke? God only knows. Let's, Let's take this with this. us.
Jay is looking for clues as to where the money's going, while Benjamin's more interested in why he does it. I don't know what someone who didn't know me would think of me. It's sort of a difficult question. I think we'll see sort of take notice of the various car parts that struggled over there in the in the room and this is sort of the DVD collection and magazines and I think they'll be surprised at how much little space I've got. <laughs> cozy, cozy. Look at all these cufflinks. Do you think that's his girlfriend? I don't know. She looks quite young. Nice selection of aftershaves. Boys toys, magazines. Those all car magazines. I don't think those are exclusively about cars. I think there's another specialist interest involved. Cars and girls in the yeah. same magazine. Nice pair of Yves Saint Laurent trousers, just casually hung up like that. Is that posh? Expensive? Well, they're not cheap. And then uh, just loads more boys' stuff. All this car stuff everywhere. I mean, it's like a this piece of a car on top of your <laughs> television. Why would you want that there? You know what's odd in this room, Jay? It's not the fact that a young man has kind of pictures of girls and cars and whatever, but it's the single mm. bed. Well, I just don't think it's that cool to be living in a single bed when you're 22, is it? Especially not with pink sheets. Fairly typical stuff so far. Ah, oh, more girls and cars. But the office is much more fruitful. Oh, look, there's the website. Do you think? Yeah. Is he on there? There he is. Oh, look, there he is, Stilo John. Stilo John lives in Wallington, yeah. drives a Stilo. I'm having a look at these. I wonder how much what you got? all this car stuff is costing. Now you find out. CMW Car Sales Limited. Oh, yeah. 1,626. Oh. That's his new outstanding balance. 2,368. Oh, God, loads of them in bank statements. What's that invoice? That's it, the Fiat Stilo. Uh, so he's paid a thousand pound deposit, thousand mm -hmm. pound for 22 inch PMW annihilators. Does that mean something to you? I think those are wheels, Jay. And six and a half grand, which is half up front. Yeah. God, it is an expensive thing. I'm going to take these with us. Do you think he thinks if he has the right car, he'll get one of these nice young ladies to hang out with him? I have no idea, but I'm going to find out, that's for sure. Yeah.